In the words of the great Gandhi himself, the Nagatoro anime do be hitting different. Now, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys like always, man. I'm going to keep it real. No bullshit. No nothing, right? I actually really like this show already. Like, a lot, dude. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. No, no judgment here, right? I'm not a masochist or anything. Some of you guys out there might be, and that's all right. You know, no judgment here. But, you know, sometimes this anime makes me feel things that... I don't know if I should be feeling. Now guys, Nagatoro is low key a series that i have been anticipating ever since an anime got announced for it like i've seen nagatoro and her smug face literally in so many memes and edits before in the past and i'm so glad that i finally get to see what all this craze is about because before i just thought like oh you know just some crazy girl that's bullying her senpai and they have fun times together and when i first watched the anime that's exactly what i got and i absolutely love that bro one of the main highlights of nagatoro has to be her goddamn facial expressions i love her expressions so much dude it's just like this maniacal evil look it just looks so cool another series that kind of does this is called kake goody it's like this gambling anime i'm pretty sure some of you guys have probably heard about it but they do a lot of those kind of like maniacal distorted twisted faces sometimes and i love that bro like it's so out there it's so weird it's, it's so expressive like it just feels different you know and i love when an anime is kind of different with their expressions bro so like definitely right off the bat like i was already drawn in like bro i loved nagatoro's expressions when she goes like fucking crazy you know now i know nagatoro is actually kind of a controversial series in the way that like some people utterly just despise this series like people just don't like it because obviously the concept of it revolves around nagatoro bullying her senpai like you know like sometimes she makes him cry she's constantly like berating him and shit like that and some people don't like that which is understandable but at the same time like some people they like it, there's a difference between like disliking that and like Ooh. absolutely fucking despising this and hope everyone that worked on this just like just quits life bruh like in my opinion people read too deep into things like when i look at this i don't think like nagatoro is like an evil person right like it's not like she's praying on my man's downfall bro like she's hoping the absolute worst for him i've seen this plenty of times before it's just like obviously she cares about him in some way or shape or form right like she's kind of just like memeing around with him i think of it like she's kind of just roasting him you know like i kind of think of nagatoro as like that overly aggressive friend you got sometimes that whenever they see you you know maybe they're a little bit too touchy maybe they punch you in the shoulder now and then but like at the same time like they care about you you know they fuck with you on some heavy shit right so i kind of treat nagatoro like that like i don't like think of it like damn nagatoro she's a bitch bro yo if i was in there dude i wouldn't i wouldn't let this bitch talk to me like that like bro calm the fuck down dude <laughs> you're talking about some goddamn pixels like this anime low-key is kind of tempting me to read the manga a bit just so i can continue to see what happens because like i don't know what it is man i was just drawn in with the first episode like it, it, it looks good it's very faithful to the manga too like I, I looked at some panels comparing it to the anime like bro the anime is super faithful to the manga but like now listen up man i might seem crazy when i say this but i low-key think nagatoro is actually pretty wholesome now i know what you guys are thinking like ivory how the fuck do you think this sadistic ass girl constantly roasting my mans is wholesome dude like i think of it as a way because obviously the senpai he's a self-insert character like it's plain as day but like he's you know very shy he's very to himself he's an introvert he doesn't like messing with the popular kids he keeps his head low to the ground and stuff like that you know classic stuff right but nagatoro she like i don't sense any like malice from it like i don't sense her actually trying to like demean him like it's almost like she's trying to break him out of his shell so that he's a little bit more proactive you know and that's I, I like that i don't know like i like that like i feel so good some good vibes whenever i watch it dude like it's just such a if i had to describe the nagatoro show or anime in one fucking word it'd probably just be fun fun 
entertaining and funny as hell bro it's it's super funny also they say the funny sus word in the anime bro the funny funny among us reference i whoever wrote this bro yo whoever typed this out whoever was the translator man writing the subtitles on crunchyroll dude look please let me shake your hand bro i fucking love you for that like whenever i saw that it's low-hanging fruit humor i know with the whole among us thing but like goddamn, dude i was laughing my ass off when i saw that dude like it was just like really dude really i wouldn't say nagatoro is a necessarily like phenomenal show that's gonna change your life like don't get me wrong guys like i i know what nagatoro is i know what it's purpose for i'm just looking for a good time man like whenever if you got like time to unwind you want to see like a funny anime but you just turn that on real quick and honestly you're gonna have a good laugh you're gonna have a good time seeing nagatoro interact you know like that, like i said dude the voice actor for nagatoro and like I, it's funny because the voice actor for the senpai is fucking deku and i'm reacting to my hero academia right now so like every time i hear it i'm like god damn i cannot unhear midoriya so like it's just it, it works for me bro it, like it's just so funny to see them interact with each other like they the, the bounce back between them both like the character interactions is insane like the voice acting top notch bro top notch also something else that i found out when i was looking into the series is that the author actually used to draw hentai which honestly doesn't even surprise me at all like it makes so much sense now whenever i look at nagatora i do get some low-key hentai vibes from it. it it's the facial expressions like let's just keep it real it, it's honestly the facial expressions message for all my artists out there if you want me to like one of your characters dude like instantaneously give her this crazy diabolical cynical look right here like this distorted face i will instantaneously like her i promise you on that now with all the praise that i've given this series from just seeing the first episode bruh obviously this anime is not gonna be for everybody man like this anime is not anything like like i said before it's not like something that's gonna change your life it's literally just like high school shenanigans people doing funny stuff you know random events are happening there's no like overall plot line world changing plot or anything like that but it is something that i think is very enjoyable for someone that's you know really interested in like slice of life anime or just wants to relax and stuff like that i definitely i honestly would recommend this man i don't know like it's just something about it like i said like gandhi the man himself said it, this anime is hits different now i feel like i just gotta clarify before i say goodbye and everything i am not a masochist i do not like getting my ass beat or my ass berated or roasted and everything like that but honestly, if Nagator was making one of those faces to me and doing that, maybe I wouldn't mind a little bit. But yeah, everybody, that's going to be it for me, boy. Thank you so much for all the love and support recently that you guys have been showing on the videos. It truly, truly means the world to me. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell, guys. It's super easy. It takes like one second. And of course, you guys can always change your mind later. Also, make sure to click that like button before you head out. It really helps the board a lot. But nonetheless, it's been your boy, Ivory. Hope you guys have a great ass day. And I'm out. Peace.